Special thank you to Seed and Stone Cidery and Lucky Buzz Meadery for sponsoring the show today. Uh, they help to make this show possible and supply us with the, the occasional beverage when we're out there. They've got 10 uh, taps full of meads and ciders made right there in house. They've also got all sorts of awesome events going on, including an open mic uh, almost every single Thursday where you can come out and show your musical talent. So all you songwriters out there, uh, stop out and grab a cider or a mead and tell them that the songwriters couch and the Patrick Joan band sent you again, seen in stone cidery right here in Rochester, New York, go out and visit them and let them know we sent you. Thanks guys. sounds of Patrick Joanne and Alex Rea. That's what's right. up. So welcome to episode seven. Seven. Welcome to episode seven. Uh, we want a huge shout out to our sponsors. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. You make the this show possible. Uh, and on the show today, we've got uh, one Mr. Alex Rea. Welcome to the show, man. Hello. Thank you. All right. So songwriters couch. Um, and so you are a songwriter. I'm a songwriter. Yep. A performer. I'm a, a performer. I'm a poet, a musician. A party clown, part part time. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> no, no part no no party clown. Okay. Have you ever maybe, done any maybe at one point? Have you done any weird entertaining gigs like that in the past? Um no. No, you so, know that. No. Um I've done all sorts of weird stuff. Have so, you? Yeah, You've done clown all, stuff. All sorts of all, I've done clown stuff, Alex. <laughs> weird clown stuff. At least you're probably a happy clown though. <laughs> no, no, I haven't done I haven't done any and not anything too weird. I did once. I have, I have a story. You guys want to hear a story? That's it. Um, before we start here, and, and this is a story uh, that uh, anyone watching here uh, that knows me or knows uh, where I lived in Queens um, will, will, will vouch for this. So I lived in a townhouse in Queens, yeah. right? So they're all side-by-side si -side houses. And the house next to us was always rented out as old, owned by an, uh, an older Chinese lady. Mm -hmm. And so she would rent it out, and it was it – was, filled sometimes with with like 15 dudes that were just like here working or whatever but one time it was filled with three to four um maybe half a dozen clowns hmm. every single person that lived there was a clown wow so uh, at times i would be like going to school or i'd be going to work or whatever and i'd come out and i just see like five clowns all dressed up that's trippy coming out of the house and getting into their car and it wasn't a tiny car either, though. i was hoping that at some point you know that's... it would be like a tiny car but yeah, yeah. yeah it was fun that's wild but yeah. yeah i never actually asked them hey can i join you and maybe make a little extra, extra money. but yeah. uh yeah so so how did you get into um kind of guitar and that sort of thing i've asked kind of most of, most of my guests like you know is it something where your family was into music or no, so basically, um, I think I'm like the first person in my family to to pick up an instrument. I think my grandfather played like accordion and stuff, okay. but only when he was like drinking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, I picked it up. That's in a good college. time to pick up an accordion. When, yeah, when you. It's a good time. Drinking. You know, I think my father played accordion, if I'm not mistaken, in school yeah. or something. Yeah. That might have been a big thing back in the day. To yeah, play accordion. But yeah, I, I um, yeah, I picked it up in college. Um, all my roommates were playing guitar at the time. They were all guitar majors. And I felt kind of left out, so I was like, you know what? I want to do this, this huh. stuff too. Yeah, you can curse yeah. if you want to. I want to do this. Shit. I want to do this. <laughs> it's shit YouTube. Too. I don't know if, if YouTube will yell at, us, yell at us for cursing, but I think you'll be all right. But yeah. Um, so did you take did you take actual classes in school for, for um, guitar and music no. and all that stuff? No, no classes. Um, didn't, no classes at all. Just yeah, just kind of. Hmm. I had guitars at the apartment that my roommates owned. So did you guys say. all play together when you were there? I was. I wasn't that yeah. good yet. 
All right. Yeah, I was just learning. Yeah, and they kind of were like teaching me a couple things, but oh, that's cool. So they were showing you some stuff too. Other. Yeah. They were all going to school for for music too. Yeah, yeah. A couple of the guys were going to school for like classical guitar. Yeah. And I've noticed too, like lately, you've been you've been playing a lot more. I've seen you out there. Yeah, yeah. Been... I got I got my eye on you, Alex. Thanks. <laughs> I'm watching you. Um, yeah. So so you started kind of learning guitar. Did you immediately kind of start playing songs, or would you did you start learning? Yeah. Uh, covers at first or like how was your progression yeah it was just like it was songs basically yeah so you would learn cover songs first and kind of yeah it was just i would kind of learn like riffs and stuff like you know like the that kind of stuff like (laughs) and just like and then just i I didn't learn anything you wrote that right that's a song you wrote yeah yeah. yeah. (laughs) but um but yeah just learning riffs and then eventually learning songs so when did you when did you start well, I'll, I'll ask this. When was the first song? Uh, uh, first song. When did it first come out of you? Like when you're. It was pretty early. Heartbreak. On. Pretty. It was just like I think I just immediately started like putting words to like chords like and it, well, I didn't like obviously I didn't like write them down because they weren't that good. I just I didn't want to <laughs> write them down, but like I would record myself playing these songs. I'd be like, you know, like, oh, so there's recordings out there stuff. somewhere. Yeah, of, they're of on YouTube songs. probably. I'll, I'll <laughs> find them, Alex. Don't yeah, worry. They're bad. <laughs> don't, um, don't find so so obviously, and and I've said this before. When you first start writing, you know, it's uh, they're usually not the best. But you gotta you gotta make a bunch of kind of garbage stuff to get to the point where you're you're writing. Yeah. you know, decent things. What, what were you listening to at that time? Was it emo um, stuff? Like it was, it was panic just, at the disco. And that n- sort of no, it was all like, it was just all like the typical, like red hot chili peppers, like Weezer, oh, like really? all that, all that kind of yeah, like it's so 90s inter- stuff. It's so yeah. interesting to your, your generation. Cause how old are you? You're 20 something. Just turned 27, 27. Yeah. yeah. My drummer, I think is the same age as you, Jonah Hattel. Okay. Um, but, uh, he's got similar tastes, super into like Weezer, the nineties yeah. bands. That's why he works so well with us too. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a, I was a teenager in the nineties. So like yeah. Nirvana and, and, uh, all those bands back then, like Weezer, yeah. um, you know, was just coming out at that point. Right. Um, so were you trying to kind of emulate what they were doing? Um, not really. I think I was just, um, I think I just was kind of, I don't know, I was just kind of just trying to find, um, find like what I wanted to do with guitar and just kind of like just kind of get my my bearings in the beginning and and I was just having fun like just free flowing like doing like the free expression thing where you just kind of like mm. words just kind of come and like with the with the music and you could do I would spend like 30 or 40 minutes at a time just like like riffing off of like an idea or like mm. a, yeah, so. so so I'll ask this too because it's yeah. something I've noticed most most songwriters will do. They'll they'll write something. They'll write a riff. Yeah. Do you normally like just mumble over it to come up with like a melody, and then you start like some words are in there. I've know? tried that. Yeah, I definitely tried that. Hmm. Yeah. Um. What uh, what what made you kind of like start getting into playing? Are you playing more now? I mean, was it something that you wanted to make a career? Did you want to make it? something that was like you know. I, i've definitely yeah i feel like um yeah i feel like it's been like a, it's been an aspiration of mine for a while to like to make it a living and obviously a lot of people want to do that yeah, yeah. yeah it's like super the, easy to do right yeah because it's, <laughs> it's yeah it's not not yeah it's very like it's yeah. it's a uh, obviously very competitive as they field. say not not for the faint of heart the the no. music business it's definitely a it's no. definitely a, a business and it's um it's a it's a tough one I find like to to get in and actually be making money and not not give up yeah. during it you know what I mean yeah and it's especially so easy too, yeah. especially yeah. in the beginning you know because you're you're are you going out solo typically right now or are you doing a I was full doing band duo or? stuff band stuff I haven't really do, done too many solo things yeah. but I'm I'm gonna I probably will soon yeah. 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 yeah, I found like, especially in the beginning, going out and, and playing solo is a little bit easier because not only, you know, you have to come up with your material, you have to come up with how you're performing, all that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're also trying to manage a band at the same time, it could be a lot to like yeah. figure out what, you know, what's, uh, how to go forward with it. Yeah. Um, is it is it something where you typically wrote the songs in the duo or was it like you both came with songs to play or what was like the it's mostly my songs um we would do my songs and covers of course do you have stuff out there in distribution right now i do it's on spotify why don't we yeah why don't we pimp that that out right now before i i forget to do that because i'm i am drinking whiskey alex yeah so if you if you go on spotify look up alex rea r-a-i-a 
Well, you got a nice and close, to <laughs> nice and close, <laughs> sultry voice. Um, so on Spotify, what yeah. do you? What, how do you feel about as a as a young man in the music? Yeah, uh, business now. How do you feel? Man. How do you feel about the streaming thing? Because there's a lot of older musicians I've noticed, and and I've had to stop myself from doing this as I get older too, becoming that, you know, yeah, that uh, that whining old man. <laughs> oh, back in my day, I used to be able to sell an album for ten dollars, you know, yeah, right. and make make five out of it. Now I yeah. get a penny for every play. I mean, what you you grew up in the kind of era of streaming, and be, you know, became a musician in the era of streaming. Like, yeah. do you find it's just you never thought of it as anything else. Uh, it seems a little bit unfair because it's like there's there's no people aren't going to really pay for CDs and stuff now because they don't they don't have CD players. Yeah, what do you do? You have merch that you you I've, have at shows or is it? I not really. I've got to make some CDs. I'm gonna. I'll probably will. I'll, I'll make some CDs for this album that's coming out hmm. this month. But um, you know what I did yeah. recently? It was pretty cool. Um, for our latest album, we did these like digital cassettes, so they look like cassettes, yeah. But they've got a USB uh, attachment to them, so you just plug them into whatever you know USB. That's cool. Medium thing or whatever, but it looks like a cassette. Yeah. Um, but I That's feel like cool. people would listen to that more because um, what I've noticed is people don't even have CD players in their car now. No, most and so don't. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you can give them out, and they just have no way of actually playing them. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, so, so what do you primarily write like genre wise? Is it, it's, is it folk rock? It's, um, it's all, I guess, I guess the easiest way to describe it, it's like alternative indie. Um, you hear it on the guitar and it's going to sound like folk or it's going to sound like singer songwriter. I can also already but, tell you're a better guitar player than I am. I don't so know about that. that. That, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm a rhythm player. My older brother was a, was a lead player. So I was always in his shadow. You know? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, it's, uh, it's I, when I record my music, it's like it's kind of got like an eclectic, like uh, indie like, slash electronic. Like it's it's huh. kind of hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. It. so. Do you play piano also? Oh uh, no, actually, no? just um, just a little bit of synthesizer stuff. But no, right. I can't really play like piano. Yeah, but you know, okay, this this no yeah, this works is a C with what it is. Or this is a D. That's <laughs> nature. I do the one one finger. <laughs> the What's chicken. the name of that guy from uh from Charlie Brown? That's the. the Show. Schroeder, Schroeder, yeah. Schroeder. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> when someone asks him to play a song, that's what he does. Ding, 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 ding. Um, so, so where do you kind of want to go from here? I mean, do you want to continue to, you know, obviously the, the local scene here is, it, there's a decent scene here in Rochester for, for playing music. I mean, do you, have you had any dreams of doing, you know, a tour? Definitely. Um, yeah, definitely, going out on the road and that sort of thing. Yeah, that'd yeah. Be, that's the goal. I think. Is have you played out, out of out of New York yet? I haven't have you gone out. No, I have not. Right. I've not ventured outside of Rochester. Actually. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to challenge you the next time we talk. Okay. Uh, maybe have something planned next time. <laughs> cool. Maybe I'll have you yeah. on the show when you have a, an out of town gig, and we'll hey. we'll bring you back on and and the like. So, how do you typically write a song? Do you sit down and you you think, um, I'm going to write now. And then you say, okay, A, you know, A, E, G, these are going to be the chords. Or does it kind of just come out it's, of nowhere? It's like, yeah, I, I definitely will sit down with the intention a lot of the times to write a song. Um, and like, I'll, I'll have my coffee, you know, and I'll be like, all right, like, so, like, let's see what we got here. And then sometimes <laughs> stuff will come, sometimes it doesn't. Do you pull from the darkest parts of your soul to, to <laughs> And the lightest, to too. And the lightest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, uh, I try so, to, at least. So, yeah, what, how, yeah would you <laughs> classify your, your music kind of as an, as upbeat? Or would you say it's... It's both. I think I think I've got a couple upbeat songs, and then I have some, some more, like, darker stuff. But it's not, like, it's not, like, sad. It's more, like, um, it's more, like, like... I don't know. It's more. I guess it's just real. I try to. I try to like write real, like stuff that that's real to me. And so you pull it from like actual experiences yeah. and that yep. sort of thing. Yeah. So so what, do you approach it like writing the music first, or do you go lyric first, or is there not really a, a it's, rhyme or reason? It's to both, it? honestly. Yeah, I'll write a lot of the times. I'll write lyrics, and I'll sit. I'll have them for like a couple weeks or a month or so, mm -hmm. and then. Um, I'll just like all of a sudden the music will come and I'll be like, oh, cool. That, that's, there's do you, that song. Do you <laughs> refine it over time? Like, do you feel like the more you play it, you kind of feel out where the Definitely. song yeah. sits? I, I've noticed that with some of the songs I've written and I, 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 I tend to like, we'll record something and yeah. then I'll play it live a whole bunch of times. And I notice a lot of bigger bands do this too. Like you'll, yeah. you'll watch them play 
uh, one of their their songs live, and it's it sounds almost completely different than what right. they had recorded. Right, because um, they probably recorded it early on or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like you just wrote it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. played it a bunch of times, but you haven't completely figured out all the little nuances of it. You know? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you've you've like finessed your songs now to the point where I've there's there's definitely some that have come out like like as finished like I I haven't touched them since I like since I wrote them the day I wrote them and then there's other songs where I've like I've added lyrics on like a year or two later and been like wow now now it's finally done <laughs> yeah I used to have uh, a um <laughs> I had a backup singer that would com- would would complain to me all the time because I'd constantly be changing trying to f- figure out like okay maybe, maybe if I go to this note instead of this note but she was like I need to know where to like harmonize you yeah, keep changing you what you're doing on the fly I'm like well I'm a I'm a I'm a rock and roll guy. I don't I don't play by the rules, Alex. You know what I mean? <laughs> I drink drink out. whiskey and I play the guitar and I, I sing. So yeah. um you gotta do it you gotta you gotta come along for the ride, yeah. as it were. Yeah. Um so where where are you playing next too? You're you've got shows um, coming up, right? Yeah, L F G is playing on the twenty seventh. Why L F G? L F G. Yeah. What does that stand for? It stands for let's say it into the I, camera. Can I say the yes? The F- yeah, <laughs> you can say. Let's it. fucking go. All right. <laughs> I like that name though. Yeah. It's very very rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, um, who came up with that? That's Josh. Is that yours? Josh, oh, Josh. Josh, Josh came up with that one. Yeah, Josh Ketchum. He yeah. did reach out too. Josh reached out to me, um, and I gotta just cheers, Josh. <laughs> um, I, I gotta reach out to him again, but. Um, yeah. So let's fucking go. And then where, where did you say you were playing? Naples Hotel um, in Naples. The 27th is like a Halloween gig. Um, All right. Well, hopefully this uh, – I don't know when this actually airs. It might be after you play that show, but um, maybe I'll release a snippet of it. Where? What about after that, just in case anyone uh, – I don't have too many gigs booked after that. I got I to gotta get – you're taking the holidays off yeah, for taking, some, I, I some rest and summer. relaxation. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Do you, have, um, do you have gigs coming? Up? Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few things coming up. Um, I really should start kind of promoting, I guess, some of our shows on on this uh, platform too. I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. If I've got the. <laughs> Yeah, when's your next week? <laughs> um, we're playing it, but again, like it, there's, it, it depends on when these things get get oh, released. True. So it might actually be past that time. Uh, we've got a few things in like November and December around nice. here. The uh, uh, Photo City um, Music Hall. We've got um, some taco joint. Uh, what is it called? Rustic Taco oh, at yeah, Fairport. Yeah, yeah. I heard they're like good, like, good, good to tacos there that, too. I, I we got two. Times. We got one in in October, which this might be already aired by the time that happens but then in november we got another one so cool. i like those like low key yeah. like you know just trio duo like we'll pare down the band yeah um and it'll just be like we're hanging out like at a taco place you know what i mean yeah. or like at a cafe or a, <laughs> a bar or whatever yeah you know? there's no pressure yeah. yeah what's your favorite like kind of favorite venue yeah um, type, type of place to play the real rowdy know. drunk places where they throw bottles really. at you no probably just no. like chill breweries like i like the breweries where it's like sunday afternoon you know hmm. and the sun's shining and there's kids playing and like, stuff. Wait, let like, me put myself there <laughs> all right describe it describe it again alex let there's me, beer let me flowing it. out of the taps okay, oh, delicious <laughs> cold. is it cold is it ice cold yep. beer ice cold kolsch. frosty glass oh a kolsch yeah. What's a Kolsch? Is that like a? It's like a citrus. It's like a Germany, Swedish right. beer. Thing. Right, I'm I'm in there. I'm, I'm in the brewery. Some some ice cold beer is pouring. Do they have Bavarian pretzels? Yes, there's pretzels. There's cheese. I, like, I do like pretzels there's a, quite a bit. There's a handsome so, guy playing guitar. And oh, he kind of looks like me. Oh He's my. Like, do you dress up for your shows, or do you do you tend to go just kind of just like this? Yeah, yeah. just chill. Yeah. Um, no tuxedos or. <laughs> Tight leather pants. <laughs> Lots I wish. Of, I know, wish I had the the, uh, <laughs> the style to be able to do. Yeah, I, I tried a few times to like do like the uh, you know like the eighties rockers like like Aerosmith where they'd have like the the like all the stuff <laughs> on. You know what I mean? And it just doesn't it doesn't work with me. I feel like it, yeah. I look like an idiot. Yeah. When I'm there, and I feel uncomfortable. Like I don't feel yeah, like you it's gotta me. Be able to like rock it. Yeah, like a yeah. uh, uh, Steven Tyler wearing you know what is it, like a forty year old women's clothing on stage. Yeah. <laughs> The guy, we have a drummer named... Sorry, Steven Tyler, yeah. We have a drummer named LeVon. He always wears, like, you know, he's got, like, a top hat. He's got, yeah. like, the But cracker, does it work for him, though? jack, like, shirt. He, he, he rocks it, yeah. Yeah, yeah Everybody's like, always like, dude, dude nice, nice get up. Yeah, I feel like, like if I, I go... Yeah, if I go too far, like, yeah. in that direction, I want to do it. And then Halloween comes up, and I'm like, that's... And then I, I use that opportunity to, like, yeah, 
just to yeah. To it's wear like it. hot girl summer, but for for a <laughs> rock and roll guy. <laughs> on, on. Time to wear women's clothes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. <laughs> That's how I go. You know, rings and stuff and mascara. I've done the mascara too in the past. I actually had my daughter. Uh, help me That's put fun. mascara for one of the shows, but yeah. That's cool. <laughs> but generally breweries and stuff in in upstate New York, they don't. Yeah, beat you, yeah, you can't go. <laughs> you can't be wearing fishnets on stage and stuff. You know, nope. they they frown upon that sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes they like it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> so, so uh, are you planning? You said you were planning on recording an album, right? Or you're in the I midst? Have it. It's it's it's, no, it's in the midst. Yeah. So when do you think that'll be out? October thirty first. Oh, yeah. so it's a Halloween release. Yeah. Do you, did you do a, a cover of Thriller? <laughs> no, I should though. <laughs> no, that's I a hard. That would be a hard song is that to like cover. A song? Okay. Yeah, Thriller by Michael <laughs> Jackson. Because it's a thriller. Kinda. Yeah, I guess so. Just doing the dance. Thriller. Yeah. And then uh, what's his name? Price uh, is is doing the 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 uh, spoken it's word it's thing. What is it? Vincent, Vincent Price, Price, right? Oh, Vincent yeah, I'm bad Price. with names. Thank oh, you okay. for saving me for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, I'll tell you what, where are you recording it? Is it somewhere here? Are you doing it at your house? Yeah, so it's in my parents' basement. Actually. All right. They've got a, I, got a, I got a little studio, home studio that I finagled. Kind of kind of looks something. What, like do you, what are you using to record? So here, here's something that that is actually yeah. pretty useful to people because um, – you know, as you get older, like you tend to make a little bit more money in your job and whatever, or you're, yeah. you know, you, you, you can buy some more uh, equipment. But when I was younger, uh, my father had an old four track, like a cassette four track, right? Yeah. And me and my older brother would record all sorts of crazy shit. And speaking of Weezer, yeah. Um, and as a matter of fact, Green Day, we once did a full cover of the entire Dookie album. Just we were like bored one day. I think we had some uh, some of the jazz cabbage. The <laughs> jazz. But we recorded basically a cover of the entire um, Green Day Dookie album. And I think we did that the Blue album by Weezer too. That's sick. So there might be cassettes yeah. out there. But my brother, my like I said, my older brother's much better guitar player, so he learned all the parts for the guitar parts. And then I sang them, and I think we might have added some drums or something in there. But it was like just cassettes. I was so happy about it yeah. at the time. I guarantee if I listen to those recordings now, though, I, yeah, you'd, 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 you'd burn them. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah my God, let's get rid of these. Things <laughs> so they're not in the public. Um, but what are you recording on? Is it like a? I got a computer, um, classic like DAW. I'm using the FL Studio. Got some microphones. I've never used mics. FL Studio. Do you like it? It's great. Yeah, I like it. It's uh, it's not like Ableton. I feel like Ableton's a little bit like better and maybe i don't know i've never really tried like reaper or anything but it's it's good is F- fl studio is that a, a free program or is that you gotta pay for it it's it's like i think it's like 500 dollars or something but, all right so but yeah I, I use fl and then i've got like uh got my audio interface got a whole setup it's uh it's it, it's taking me a while what, to on your there. audio interface what are you using are you using like a focus right focus or something right, like yeah. that like a yeah. two channel or is four, it it's got four inputs on the front and then like eight on the back so oh wow but the eight on the back are kind of they're kind of useless almost because they're they're line inputs it's kind of technical yeah. stuff but yeah like, but yeah it's well uh, this is the songwriters yeah true. couch that's true yeah. musicians mostly that are going to be listening to that's this true. too so so do you find that that set up to be good. Are you good with like the, the like mixing, mastering and that sort of stuff? Or? I've, I've gotten pretty good at it. I think, um, I think it's, it's definitely, I think you definitely have to have like an ear for it, but I think sometimes I, I'm, I'm like, you listen to a song so much and it, it, it almost like you get like uh, what's it called? Studio ear. Yeah. Where you can't really hear that. You hear your mistakes anymore. And you're yeah. like, you're just, um, yeah. All you hear you need, is, like, yeah, you need yeah. like a second opinion almost. I, yeah. I feel like on a lot or a of couple of days off to like let your that let too. your ears recover from it. Yep. Sometimes I'll even listen to to a song. Yeah, I've, I think I've said this on the podcast before, yep. but a few months later, and yeah. I, and you know, speaking of like working out a song on stage, you yeah. know, um, I have uh, and and as a matter of fact, I want to announce something here. I do have a uh, comedian that I'm going to have on the show. Cool. That I've booked already um, because I've talked already about a bunch of uh, like how comedy uh, is kind of similar to the music thing. Like they have yeah. to work out their bits on stage and all that. Yeah. It, it'll be interesting. Trust me. I know it sounds strange, but it, it'll, it'll work um, for what. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awesome. Um, but, but the, the method that you record with, um, do you, do you send it off to be mix and master or you do that yourself and, yeah. and release it or 
so I do a lot of the mixing myself and then I'm I'm probably gonna have the like a computer basically master it. Mm. Um, Wait, what do you mean by that? So like you, AI? So you can get AI to master oh, your tracks and stuff. I know. I don't really. I, it's a, it's no, expensive I want, to pay uh, re- <laughs> to pay like actual people. It is true. Stuff, yeah. um, I wonder how has it been? Have you tried any of those things? Yep, I what's have your, it on my one one of my tracks that I released. I did. What's with, been like, your AI. experience with that? Like, it, do you find it to be? It was good. It um it definitely like made it made the track sound more lively and like brought the hmm. volume up. I think it did a lot of like compression and stuff and. And made it sound like better, I guess. Yeah. In a way, yeah. So what do you do? You you upload. If you want to talk about what what is the program that you use, I, don't, do you I forget the service, but it was through DistroKid, which is like a distribution service. Um, that that's how I release my music is through DistroKid. Yeah. It's kind of like a label, but without having a label. Yeah. You pay for it instead yeah, of them yeah. paying you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's but yeah. that's that's sometimes a good thing though, because because labels will give you money. They're not really giving you money. They're loaning, They're loaning you money. money. Uh, yeah, yeah, they with want interest. It back. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely want it back. Yeah. Um, but, but but that's yeah. interesting because I have looked into that. I haven't played around with the AI thing. I, I think that's going to change the whole mixing mastering business. Unfortunately, for a yeah. lot of those people that are out there. Um, I've uh, and and a few maybe a couple episodes ago, um, I had the CEO from these headphones, which these are specifically made for mixing and mastering. Oh, cool. Um, and and picking your ear, and I don't, I don't think that can go away because there's an art form to that too. True. You know, like you can have AI say, "I'm going to make this the way." This genre in general, yeah, yeah, in general, it should sound. But there's an artistry to like actually mixing and mastering that I yeah. feel like it would be very difficult to take that away from human beings. You know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Um. So, so most of the songs now that you're going to be releasing on this, they've been mixed by me. mixed and so mixed by you, yep. but mastered by AI. They're going to be mastered by AI. Yeah. 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 Have, do they have mixing as well? Will it, will it do mixing the AI? Uh, I don't know. I think. I don't know if they can really do that. Yeah, that's a little tougher, right? Yeah. Yeah, to get like volumes of like each individual. I bet you it'll get there. Maybe eventually, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, isn't there a uh, – there's some sort of AI now that wrote a song, like a Drake song they tried to submit to the Grammys, right? Wasn't it? Like It it wasn't actually him. It was like Drake and someone else. Yeah, they they said they ended up saying like, no, we can't we can't allow it because it's not a human being. That, oh, really? That it literally like wrote the song. It wasn't actually their voices. It was just all AI. But they inputted the criteria for what the show the song should be like, wow. which I feel like we're getting into really like terrible. That's weird. Wait, the the AI position was some. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on that. But huh. but I mean, they're a pop pop. So here's what's really strange. Yeah. Now there are like, you know, on Instagram, right? Yeah. You have those influencers that are just AI. Yeah. But you have, there was someone that came out as like a pop star, mm-hmm. but the person themselves, it's not a real person. It's an AI person. Hmm. So all the images of them, all the video of them is actually, it's not a real human being. It's an AI version That's of them. Scary, but though. then they're also using the AI technology to create the pop songs that they're writing. Huh. So it's not a real human being actually yeah. doing any of it. It's that's, all a computer. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I, but right now it's not good enough. I'm, I'm just worried about where it's going to uh, go. Yeah. yeah. Where it's yeah. – because once someone really gets into pop, I feel like you – I don't know. Yeah. I would, I would hate for music to ever go into the hands of like Google – and like their robots and stuff, that would that would be really, that'd be sad. I feel like, but I feel like I don't know. It seems it seems like it, that should be made illegal almost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you can't see you can't. Now you're becoming the old uh, old <laughs> man. The old guy. Right here, where's as, my as where's my coffee? Speak, you're watching. Yeah, where's my fish sandwich and, and Sanka uh, from McDonald's? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but like like I feel. I feel like there's this um, already. I'm, I'm seeing. Well, I guess I guess there are little pockets of like rebel rebellion, you know, rebellious music that are coming out. Yeah. Um, but I feel like the more that that um, they can generate, because even the pop songs now can be written very easily they're, in AI. Yeah. They're all pretty much the same thing. I mean, there's a whole lawsuit with Ed Sheeran, right, where he he had to fight to say every pop song is the exact same thing so that he couldn't be sued, right? Oh, really? Because oh. someone from the 70s 
Um, I forget who was it. Who was the, the who was it? Let's get it on the Marvin. Yeah, Marvin Gaye. Well, right. So. Um, <laughs> Let's get it on. Okay. I haven't. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've heard of this. I gotta. I gotta tune in. When your legs yeah. don't work like they used to. Before. Yep. So both the same chords, right, in yeah. a very similar progression. Yeah. So basically, what he fought in court is right. to say, well, that song is hundreds of pop songs right. that have been written, right? Right. And so my fear is is that it's very easy to write a pop song and eventually record companies and everyone that has the money that's distributing stuff can just get AI to write it and it'll almost be as if like the pop music genre will be out of the hands of, of human beings. Of actual people, yeah. It yeah. Could and, be. Then, and then it could be real trouble because then to become a musician and make a living at it would be would be almost impossible. impossible. Yeah, which you is could kind write, of already like that. You'd, have to, you'd of... have to be like such a monumental force to change the course of music altogether right. in order to even get recognized, you right. know, uh, which that's, that's yeah. pretty difficult yeah. to do, you know, yeah, sure. it doesn't happen very often. I mean, you had like Nirvana back in the nineties who has done that yeah, since sure. then, right. Just completely changed like the, the changed. landscape of music. Yeah. I mean, Cardi B. Cardi say, B. Is it Cardi B? Yeah. I don't know. That's Cardi B. <laughs> I don't know. No, it's like, not Cardi B. Like, Eminem and like those Eminem, like the hip hop yep. guys. Eminem you know, like kind of did that hip hop, um, but now even hip hop I think is is it's all the same. Like it's being recycled. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of all being being like. So maybe it's of, up to you. I, what I'm trying to say is I'm recruiting Alex here, the youth of the the youth musicians of America that yeah. come come change the world, take over AI and fight fight the uh, the, the Terminators that are coming for our music. Alex. I'm here for it. Y'all, you heard it here first, guys. He's here for it. He's ready to go. Don't come um, after me, Google. <laughs> <that's right. laughs> yes, Google. Google's a powerful entity. Um, so, so what do you want to do, like in the future, with with regards to music? Do you have any big dreams of? So, sometimes I think about what if I could get a whole choir, a whole orchestra, like you that'd know. Be sw- that's actually a good goal. Yeah, is having like a whole orchestra behind you. That'd be that'd be really cool. Get to the point where you can like arrange songs in such a way that you you can be like, okay, well, I want a French horn player here. Like, I want like this like, you know, like soulful singer to sing these lyrics. Like, I don't want to yeah. sing sing my own lyrics. I want to have you sing like that kind of thing to be able to what, have that power. Do you have a Do you have a name for your album, by the way? I don't. I actually oh, yeah. I'm taking suggestions. So oh. if, you guys, if you guys have any suggestions, I have like a list on my phone. But so all... what? It, well, maybe we can help here. Maybe in the comments. Uh, where's the kind? So. In the comments, yep. um, let's list. Do you have some names of the songs um, that you can, you can? So, "Deep Blue Sea" is is one of the songs. That's probably one of the the like the the, the more monumental tracks, I guess, mm-hmm. in the album. And then um, "George Eastman" is another name of the song. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, those are like those are kind of like the big ones. There's some more too, but um, yeah, I was thinking of calling. Are you going to play Blue one sea. of those today? I probably will. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. maybe down in the com- if you can switch to this camera. So in the comments after Alex plays today, let's have some suggestions. Maybe we'll come up with your album. Cool. Title today. Have you done any music videos yet? I have the one music video. It's called IPA. Okay. Um, it's for the my. Song Are you a beer, beer drinker? I will. Like, I, like I not really anymore. No. Um, it was. It, I wrote it for my friend who was like a who was a big IPA guy. And so what are you drinking like, now? You drinking whiskey? Water. Just water. Oh, just water. Yeah. Oh yeah. my! Nature's fruit juice. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I uh, yeah, right? No, kind of gave it up. No, All right. Yeah. Oh, you gave up the booze. You gave it up. No. Oh my. Oh my. Well, I didn't. I didn't give it up at all. Yeah. <laughs> <Cheers>. no. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so what? What do you got? What do you play in there? Yeah, um, so this cool. is a seagull guitar. Seagull. Um, I it's, like the color of it, the matte finish on there. Yeah, it's relatively new. Oh, um, is that one of those guys that has like the tuning thing on the inside too? It's I actually just put that on there. That's a that's like a little clip on tuner that I put uh, on the inside. Yeah. That's new. I've just started seeing those around recently. Yeah, it's neat. It's it's super accurate. I like it. So. Let's see, can you get any of that on camera? Can you actually see that little this little guy? It goes like in the sound hole. I get I so bet that's camera. super accurate, probably, right? It is. Because you're getting it's an E. 
Interesting. Yeah, it's good. Except when you got to go change the battery, then it's a pain in the butt because yeah. you usually drop it in there, I bet. Yeah, no, I've yeah. definitely <laughs> dropped it in there a couple times. So let's do this. What, where are we at uh, time-wise? I think I want to I want to get into some music a little bit if you're you're down for that, Alex. Sure. You're down to, yeah, let's see. And as a matter of fact, you were just on another radio show recently, right? I was, yeah. What was the name of that that show so people can check that, that out That was um, Rochester Free Radio. Rochester's Free Radio. Um, it's WFRZ. The, They're doing, what is it? It's rock, like rock. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rock. It's just like a rock, um, radio, but they do, they do all sorts of music. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think Sunday. I was on there uh, a couple of years ago, two years ago, something like that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. You were there, right? Um, it's a fun, fun place. So, yeah. So let's do this. What, what song are you going to play? Um, and then what is it about? I'll probably play. I'm gonna play this song called "Take Good Care." It's uh, it's been it's been released. It's not it's not one of the ones from the new album, but um, it's about kind of just it's kind of about like initially wrote it about like my bot like bosses and stuff having like like an overbearing like mm. boss or whatever. But also, like, Do you still work there now? Don't nope, not anymore. Right. Not no. anymore. It doesn't work there anymore. Yeah. Not the current boss. It was an old boss. Yeah. Old boss. And uh, <laughs> yeah. And then also kind of like relationship stuff too. So, all right, yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of like so. It. Before before we go into that, if you have yet to subscribe, to like, to comment, or whatever, do that please now. Um, we're gonna have Alex Rea uh, do a little a little number here, and maybe if you could take the microphone and kind of tilt it so it gets a little more guitar too. So like in between you and the. Yeah, yeah, that would be beautiful. You know, this back, just... yeah, and that's my dryer going off in the in the background too. If you hear that that beeping sound, so maybe we... it's the longest. I don't know what is that Maytag? Oh, sa- is it a Samsung? Yeah, so it's, I love those. it's like a ten minute song that it plays. It like wants to be a song right here, I think it's like it hears us playing in here all the time. Yeah, it's it's I'm gonna it's gonna be my backup singer. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> on the next the next album yeah, sample like, that yeah it's sample really like Pat I'm not going to clean your clothes anymore unless you get me on that album yeah. and I want publishing I want publishing rights on it <laughs> are you ready to ready to do I'm, something I'm ready so, so everyone keep in mind too as he plays this he's looking for a, a title for his uh, record so let's help mm-hmm. let's help Alex out you ready cool yeah the song is called take good care of you like you're too wise to be careless You're too strong to be numb We all get things we want to confess Baby, you're not the only one The moon rises above the surf the spoonful that weighs a ton You live life's your own business Just make sure you're having fun You gotta weigh the pros and cons, babe you Gotta live life your way Seen so many lonely Sundays It's just another lonely Sunday Whoa, whoa Whoa, whoa Seen so many lonely Sundays You'll be happy maybe someday Sometimes life just appears gray Guess the winter makes it seem that way You keep moving down the line, son You keep moving, you'll be fine, son You don't have a lot of time, son You learn to walk, now it's time to run Whoa, 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 whoa. I said I don't get mad, I nobody else mad I own my mistakes and I don't ask for help I'm a simple man, babe, you should understand I got a simple plan, babe, take care of yourself I said I don't get mad, I nobody else mad I own my mistakes and I don't ask for I got a simple plan, babe. Take care of yourself. You need to learn to take care of yourself. 
Need to learn to put the audio up on the shelf. Keep your chin up when you feel like hell. Maybe break it down real simple like a cell. I guess in every sinner there once was a saint. And maybe everybody's got some colors they could paint. If you could paint over which route would you take? Would you start it all over for the sake of saving face? Ooh, baby, baby, what do, do you say? You want to link up maybe later today. You can think it over, baby, that's okay. I just want to hear your voice at the end of the day. I said, I don't get mad how nobody else met. I hold my mistakes and I don't ask for help. I'm a simple man, babe. You should understand. I got a simple plan, babe. Take care of yourself. Nobody else, man. I own my mistakes and I don't ask for help. I'm a simple man, babe. You should understand. I got a simple plan, babe. Take care of yourself. Ow! Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Alex Rea, everybody. So, uh, what was the name of the song again? Can you say it again? Take good care. Take good care. I dig that. Thank I you. like the chords that you've you've chosen in there. I was watching your Thanks. what you were doing there with the guitar too, so I could tell you've got some experience with the uh, <laughs> the old six string there. And the reason I say that is because I watch sometimes I watch people play and how they strum and how yeah. they they move their things. And you're muting, you're doing things that you probably don't realize you're doing. Yeah. Play 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 that riff one more time. So. Just did it there. Yeah. Where, where you're yeah, muting, muting in between. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Did you, did you have to learn to do those things? Or was that something that just kind of you you ended up? It's it's like a, it was like a, I don't know. I probably picked it up along the way some, at some point. But I don't mm. really know when it when it came. It's kind of just, yeah. So I'll, I'll a lot of times do it with like the, this hand yeah, that to mute, mute it. Yeah. Um, but I'll do that too here. Like I'll, I'll mute with my thumb, but I don't realize, I never learned to do that. And it's yeah. interesting, like as you get more comfortable with guitar, you start yeah. doing stuff that I don't think you're re you realize that you're doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like um, proficiency. Did you ever yeah. take any like theory online or anything like that? No, you... Just YouTube, just watching YouTube videos yeah. and stuff. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite out of your songs? My favorite to one. play. Oh, that's a good question. Not your favorite song, but your favorite one to play. Favorite to play. So I have my yeah. favorite to play, and then I have my favorite song that I well, actually like. Well, what's your favorite to play? So, so I like "For the Hell of It" is one of my favorites. It's, just, it's super like. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you know, it's very like like, that. Yeah, like yeah. catchy. Um, so I like playing that song, but one of my favorite songs is called Butterflies and Knives. So it's like, it's more, yeah, it's more like know, finger picking yeah. and, and stuff that like, I like the sound of it, but then typically audiences like yeah. songs that I tend to be like, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. Yeah. I mean, I really <laughs> like, like, I've written a bunch of songs where people really like it and yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's not really my favorite. Yeah. Song. So, out of all of your songs that you've written recently, what's your favorite one to play? Probably it's either that one or the one George Eastman that I wrote. Can you play like a little? Sure. I play George. So George Eastman goes yeah. like this. It's and like for those a, those out there that don't know, who is George Eastman? He's uh, Rochester's very own uh, entrepreneur, and he kind of is the reason that the city exists. Almost yeah. Eastman <laughs> Eastman Kodak. Right? Yeah, Eastman so Kodak. The yeah. mayor of yeah. was he ever the mayor? I'm going to just say mayor of no. Rochester no. currently and forever. Uh, but, yeah, I think he's dead. He, though, no. Yeah. He's, is he dead right now? Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's not the mayor, but <laughs> <laughs> he but, could, probably could have been. Yeah. The CEO but, or inventor of, <laughs> of Kodak, right? The mayor like of film, but yeah, oh, he's he, the mayor of film. I like yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah. Mayor yeah. So, so it's not those, really, it's not even really about him at all. It's just, <laughs> I, I kind of just you, chose that name cause it sounded cool. And, did, you grew up in, in Rochester, basically, yeah. So yeah, so it, George Eastman was—I um, actually don't even know—was he the founder of Kodak? Yep, right? I think I think so. Yeah, Eastman Kodak or what have you. Yep. Um, but uh, that that you know, his company made the film for like 
almost every single major motion picture yep. um, that exists. And as a matter of fact, recently that's come back as like like people want to start producing film now on actual film, which is amazing. So that I think there's like a resurgence now where they're having having to like restart up buildings that haven't been turned on in a long time. You know, cool. so you got like lights coming on. It's like you know yeah. the light comes out <laughs> in that, in like that slow way radioactive rats and so what stuff. yeah <laughs> yeah they've just been been eating eating film for, yeah. for the last 10 years or 20 years like, you know? or they've got like film reels in their head i just need more there. film i need more <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's an interesting thought um but yeah this, this yeah play it play this a little song. riff of of what that yeah i put it on the radio so it's uh so it goes like this three four eleven fingers Twelve toes, two left feet, cooking not hoes. Goddamn, I am freak show, freak show. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so what? What made you call it? Uh, because uh, there's a part where I mentioned George Eastman, and I and it's kind of got like a, some inspiration from Gorillas, a little mm. bit. And um, Gorillas have that song called Clint Eastwood, and it's like it's kind of like a it's like a nod to him to the to Damon oh, Damon from uh, Gorillas because it's like because it's got it's you, when you hear the recording you'll be like wow that sounds like a gorilla I've song always, almost I've like, always loved bands like that too like the bands that do um like they refuse to be on camera and show their own face like Tool yeah did that for a very long time I mean recently they've been you know Mater and and yeah. those guys have been on on camera yeah and I'm getting the five minute warning <laughs> um. But uh, but I, I always find that interesting. I'm actually I'm if if there's something to look forward to now. I'm having the whole band cartoonized uh, by a local artist, yeah, and I'll feaster. yeah I, I'll fun. I'll announce it once once it's out there. But but he knows who he is. He's cartoonizing the whole band, so we're gonna have cartoon versions of us that wow. hopefully I can animate too at some point. We can do like a little animated video. I always I always hated the like being on camera, like yeah. like the social media thing. I, yeah. Like I do this, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but at least I'm like I'm like talking with other songwriters and musicians. Yeah, yeah. And there's like a point to it. Like I feel just posting stories and like pointing the camera at myself is. So, I feel it's, so silly. Yeah, it's very it, silly. Right? Yeah, How do you do you feel like you're way. comfortable with that? No, nah, I'm the same way. I don't. Yeah. I'm not really, not really on social media often. Like I find myself like pushing it away rather than mm. like than like I, I don't know. I'm not big big with the phone really. So. Let's do this. Yeah. Do you have another song you can? I can play that one. Yeah. You can play. Yeah. So let's turn it again. What What are the chords that maybe I can do? Um. So it's a. So that's an E nine. I love that chord. So, so you got your pinky. Yeah. A major nine. Yeah. And then A major or A A minor seven. And then you already lost me. So <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Here, wait. Just point the oh, yeah. Yeah. the microphone mid. Yep. And yeah. let's hear it. So before we go, I'm gonna have Alex play us out here. Um, yep. So we're still looking for a couple more sponsors. We've got some lined up. Um, some announcements to be made soon. We've got some super cool guests coming up and we've got a special we talked about it today special thanksgiving episode that's going to come out we might be eating giant turkey legs you know, maybe a pumpkin pie or two that sounds fun i don't know about two maybe one pumpkin pie is enough <laughs> one pumpkin pie is enough um and some music and stuff and the rest of the band uh patrick joanne band might be on that show so we might be cooking a turkey maybe we'll give some tips Maybe no, stuff it. we shouldn't give any tips on cooking a turkey. That would be, yeah. no, ask should. the lawyers, ask the lawyers what, whether or not we should, mm -hmm. we should cook a turkey. Like maybe, a maybe like a bee. We're going to cook the turkey with our rock. There you go. We're going to yeah. rock. That'd be a good yeah. like Everyone's, video. Everyone's maybe. shaking their heads in, in disappointment. You make like at, a blooper. <laughs> yes, yeah. we are. <laughs> we're going to, we melt faces typically, but in this instance, we're going to just broil a turkey. I like that idea. That's I don't know if it'll be cooked fully, like. <laughs> To FDA standards, <laughs> it's serve. It's right? Serve raw It'll probably turkey be in the like turkey tartare. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that just yeah. sounds awful. You turkey tartare. You know, that. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right. So you're from you grew up in Rochester. Yep. 
Let's have, and I've been asking this to food suggestions. Food suggestions in Rochester. So if someone is to come to Rochester and have one food, and don't say garbage plate, it's typical. Yeah. So when you're like, I, I can't live without this particular thing that I. Um, probably my mom's chicken parmesan. Oh, that's gonna be a hard <laughs> thing for people to get, though. Yeah, I can't. Is she starting know. a restaurant or? She... No, no. Okay. Um, but I don't know. Um, the chicken parmesan though is delicious. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. delicious. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Alex's mom's chicken parmesan. Uh, look for the restaurant. I'll just say Alex Ray's mom's chicken parmesan. Yep. Shop. That's all she'll serve. Just chicken any parmesan. pasta with it? Is it uh, like spaghetti? Pasta. Oh yeah, spaghetti. On top inside. of a bed of spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. Not fettuccine though. You can't do fettuccine. No, all right. no, just spaghetti. spaghetti. Red sauce on the pasta. A little bit of red sauce. Yeah. All right, all right, Alex. I'm getting told to shut the hell up <laughs> and let you play. So <laughs> okay. let's hear the last song, guys. Please comment, subscribe. All that stuff. If you have suggestions on songwriters you'd like to see on the show, uh, please suggest them. Des, thank you for sticking around and hanging out. I appreciate it. Allie, thank you for sticking around and helping out with the show. <laughs> and Alex, thank you for being on the show. I really appreciate it. It was really cool. Thanks for having um, me. It's been a long day for me, and I know I'm, I'm probably disjointing all over the place, but I appreciate you putting up with me. Thanks for uh, having me. And my, my drinking of whiskey and and. Let's have you play play us out. What okay. again? What what's the name of the song? This is George Eastman. George Eastman, yep. and this will be on his uh, upcoming yep upcoming album. album. Yeah. So yeah, it goes like this. I got a one, two, three, four, eleven fingers, twelve toes, left feet, crooked knuckles. God damn, I am freak shot, freak shot. My mama never told me where I come from, where to go. I got it, you need it, you feel it, and I feel it too. Cause you could be a freak show, baby, just like me. Walk around like black coffee when you're doling tea. I got so many friends in so many different places. I live in their lives and therefore making a statement. It's like Patrick Bateman and Norman Lewis Bates. Got it all in Bird King's bathroom, but I'll pop me. I got so many problems, I lost count while counting them. Some people kill the demons while others, they just shout at them. It's like I could play the guitar and rap at the same time. To rather hear ZBTV play chicken five for the 30th time. No offense to those guys, I'm sure the chicken's great. But here's some new fucking addicts so talking to your garbage face. I got 11 fingers. Twelve toes, two left feet, looking at house. God damn, you are freak show, freak show. You gotta take it slow. You gotta let it go. You gotta take it slow. Show, baby, just like me, walk around like a coffee when you're totaling tea. I got George Eastman, blew his brains out for no reason. He couldn't find God's peace and even in his Victorian Eastman. Isn't that the story of the rich man who found riches? At least modern rappers are content with money and convinces. No, I'm not blind, but I can hardly see. When I'm down below the surface, it gets harder to breathe. It's when I, I find myself alone, alone, alone. Underneath the deep blue sea, I got lamb fingers. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Alex, thank you for thank being you. on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to have you out after the album's released, so you can pimp that out. Sweet. When it comes out, go download it. Um, thank you, everyone that's been watching lately. We really appreciate the support. And the best way you can really support the channel is by subscribing and liking. It helps the algorithms. Speaking of AI, it helps <laughs> propagate it. So every time you like a post or anything like that, it, it really helps us. Um, yeah. Cool. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. How about you uh, You tell these guys goodbye? Bye, YouTube, Facebook. <laughs> Follow me on uh, 
Add me on Facebook if you want to be friends. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> this is getting personal. Whoa, hello. Settle down. <laughs> Where else can they follow you, Alex? Um, on, his on OnlyFans is... <laughs> his OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Only musicians. His OnlyFans. <laughs> All right. Well, if we, can, if we can switch to this camera. Thank you, everyone, that's been watching recently. We really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to start probably announcing some shows and stuff, and we've got some tours next year that I'll start adding to this thing. And and thank you, Allie. I really appreciate it. I know you're tired today, and it's been a long day, but thank you for, for helping out with the show and doing the camera switching. So let's – can we – Des, can you do me a favor? Can you just turn no, that no, – no. Oh, she no. doesn't want to be on camera, but – at some point i'll turn the camera around and she can thank you des for sticking around how was the uh what did you drink there the wine uh, or stone, oh the seed and stone oh yeah seed and stone that beats me delicious right it's yes. pretty good nice and dry thank you to our our sponsors uh, for sponsoring us and we will see you on the next episode and, and i can't wait to show you what we got next so Thanks, Alex. Cool. Bye, guys.